Well, hi, this is Alex. Um, Sideshow Mick um, pointed out in the comments section on my picking video of this Tessa lock um, that the spacing between pins 3 and 4 is different than the spacing between the other pins. And uh, I didn't quite get what he meant the first time, but um, then I went and looked at the lock and sure enough. So I have here the lock. This is the um, opening the keyway. This is the back, so it's pin 1 through pin 5. And here's the key in the same orientation. And you can see here that um, the first three pins have equal spacing. So the spacing between those is point 180 inches or 0.4, I'm sorry, 4.57 mil between these on center. Then you get to the three and four, and the spacing goes to 0 0.210 inches or 5.33 mil, um, which is a difference of 0 0.030 inches, 30 thousandths, or 0.76 mil between these two. And then the spacing goes back to the previous. Um, 180. Um, on the key you can see the same thing. Um, so you see this larger space here between these two pins uh, or cuts. Now why would they do this? Um, I don't think it's a manufacturing defect. It's, it's too big of a difference to be um, unintentional. I think what it is is that it increases the max or the maximum adjacent cut specification for this cut, this spacing here between pins three and four. And it allows them to have this cut way down here. So that's like a cut down to the ward. That's probably a maximum depth cut. And up here we have, you know, that's maybe a one or two. I don't know. So if this spacing were smaller then this cut here would run into here and you wouldn't be able to have this cut this high. So if you can imagine the this line, if I moved it over 30 thousandths, it would start intersecting there and you wouldn't be able to have that cut as high. So I suspect that this is an intentional design decision um, to allow them to have a, a wackier key bidding um, uh, at, at this point, deeper into the keyway, thereby making it, for example, harder to reach this guy here. Um, so per perhaps adding additional security um, to the lock. So it's a very interesting uh, observation that despite having spent a while with this lock, I, I hadn't noticed. For those of you that like lots of numbers, um, so here's the, the pins. And so um, what I did was I took my caliper um, and I used the inside caliper function to measure the space between the outsides of the bores. If you can imagine this, I've measured edge to edge, inner edge to outer edge, subtract out one diameter, that gives me the center to center di distance on those. And then of course this one is bigger. Okay, so these spacings were this measurement from, from here to here, 0.13, I'm sorry, 0.31 inches or 7.87 mil um, on this and this. On the, the three to four spacing is 0.34 inches or 8.67 mil. Um, and so that gives us a difference of um, 030 mil um, on the spacing. And then you can see it here in a different format little table. Um, I've not seen that before. Maybe other people have seen locks that do similar things. This lock, this lock is made by our friends at Asa Apply, so I don't know if anyone is aware of any other Asa locks that have this sort of feature. Um, it, you have to stare at the key pretty hard to see the difference. It wouldn't be immediately obvious because it's only thirty thousandths. Um, but looking at the looking at the top of the cylinder, it's very obvious the difference. So anyway, I thought that was pretty cool, and thanks to Sideshow Mick for pointing that out. Um, I would never have noticed it, um, probably, because I had already put the lock away. So thanks to Sideshow Mick for pointing out this uh, interesting feature of this lock. If anyone else is aware of locks with similar properties, uh, please throw in a comment. Um, be interested in learning about that. 
And uh, yeah, so we learned something new today. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my material. And as always, have fun with your lock support while keeping it legal. Cheers.